Hello guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to start talking about the five stars upcoming from now on, from 1.2 on. And we're going to start talking about them because there's a lot of people that don't have a flood of coverage. You don't, you might not have certain characters, certain six star characters. And for those people, or maybe you really want a certain five star character, a specific one that you like. For those people, I feel like it's a good idea to start talking about five stars, five stars as well, because there's not just six stars, okay? There's a lot of people that clear all the content with just four and even, even three, four and five stars, right? So they have their own value. They're really good units. So they might not be insane, sure, but they have their own kits and you can use it without any problem. You can use them without any problem. Now, first of all is Blani coming in the 1.2 update on phase one inside the Tooth Fairy banner is going to be... Tooth Fairy, Beacon Bloom, and Blani. Now, that said, Blani is a DPS mainly, okay? It's a reality DPS. She wants to crit, and let's go check her kit really quick, shall we? Now, the, the ult is Pulp Fiction. It's a mass attack. It deals 250% reality damage to all enemies, and this attack crit, uh, crit rate is increased by 20%. Now, the 20% is just for the ult. And the reality damage, in my opinion, is a little low, but she is a five star after all, so that's fine. Moving on, the Laughing Rabbit, it's a one star, one uh, target attack. It deals 160, 240, or 400% reality damage, depending on the level. And you have built in crit rate and crit damage increase by 25%. So this one is most likely to crit, and when it crits, it's going to deal 20% more, 25% more critical damage. Now, moving on, the last skill is Chainsaw Trailer. It's a one target attack that becomes a debuff from level two onward, and it deals 200, 250, 450% reality damage. And you also apply from level two onward, you apply one stack of confusion for one round, which means that you're going to be able to crit even more for that round, okay? Now, you need to do it before on the same round when you do like something, some other attack that you really want to do damage with because it's just one round but it is a mechanic that you can use with Blani. Now she really wants to crit and I mean that when we go check on the inside. The inside has one, two and three in this case. She has critical rate and critical damage everywhere. On inside one says that after you cast your ultimate you gain 20% critical rate and 20% critical damage for two rounds and on inside two you also get an ulterior crit rate raised by 15% just when you enter combat and this is permanent it doesn't it doesn't go off so by the the, the entirety of the combat you will having you will be having crit rate increased by 15% which is pretty huge usually uh inside two is like 8% or something so in this case it's really high so that's pretty good. It's also a stat that it's really needed for her, right? And on inside three is basically inside one, but powered up by 10%. So you end up, you went, after you do the ultimate, if she's I3, you do basically crit rate, 30% crit rate and 30% crit damage increase for two rounds. So this basically makes us understand that Blani wants to crit and she does that by doing a little setup. You want to do the ult first, do, do some attack, build the, build the moxie, do the ult, and after you do the ult, now you really do damage, right? So if you don't, if you didn't reach 100% critical yet, then you need to do chainsaw trigger, ch chainsaw trailer if you, if you can. If you can't, it's fine because you, you still have a lot, a really high amount of critical rate, crit, critical rate and critical damage. But you can do confusion to in further increase it in case you don't know if you have it. And then, Finish it with Laughing Rabbit, uh, higher, highest level possible, right? Because uh, you always have 25%. Now, she is a very AP hungry DPS. She could be used as a support just because she applies Confusion. But in my opinion, considering Confusion is on the level 2 cards, you're going to be using a lot of cards doing nothing as a support. Because she's a DPS, in my opinion. You can't really use her effectively as a, as a support DPS. She, she is a DPS. So you could use her, but there's a lot, there's plenty other characters that do that. You can even use Matilda if you really want confusion. So there's a lot of characters that do it better. Even if they don't apply confusion, they're still going to be more, much higher value than having Blani as a support, okay? So that said, let's go check on the portraits. The portrait is basically just a... a a global like raise up of stats that they don't add anything insane so there's just like everything you saw here just getting increased by five percent and 10 and 20 percent on the p5 on the old is going to be 40 percent on the old if you have p5 if you have p1 is 30 percent and then the cards get a little more 
critical damage and critical rate increased and a little more reality damage on the chainsaw thriller on p4 and then you get a little more damage on the alt on p3 so nothing crazy when it comes to side tube as you can see here but i also tell you explain a little more why these okay so those side tube are for the setting up okay since Blunny has a lot of critical rate and with the uh, a higher resonance you're most likely going to get very very close to 100% critical rate maybe thunderous applause is not a good option it is but you can also keep in mind that you can use either opscotch or, or brave new world in my opinion brave new world is better because you need to you don't need the alt damage okay so if uh, since opscotch is going to give you 12% let's say 16% okay because you don't have it you don't have it uh, at 60 level 60 you have like ascension are uh, like level 50 it's going to give you 60 percent 16 percent uh incantation might which is permanent which is still good i'm saying uh, in my opinion it's probably a, maybe a little bit better to use uh, brave new world because brave new world sure it gives you a permanent ultimate might which you don't need like i said but since you don't want to use your ult and you're using uh, uh, do damage with your ult but you want to use your ult to trigger the buff on your inside and have now higher critical damage and higher critical rate you want to do the ult and then you want to set up which means that the next incantation having 20 percent or more if you amp pl two plus incantation might is going to be really really good for your nuke quote unquote right so you can do you can use brave new world to do your ult get the incantation might and then unleash Ra laughing rabbit as high as possible of a level to deal really really high damage because this is going to also crit and do a lot of crit damage now sure yes you can do that but you can also use thunderous applause because it's uh it's after all it's a crit rate crit damage increase so sure you have crit rate on 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 the basic and then you have a high crit damage especially also if you're using gluttony on it uh for whatever reason you can use that and it's going to be higher than 16% critical damage increase. It, uh, it gets up to 32%. Actually, is it 32 or 48? Let me check. It's uh, 32, yes. A little low, but considering that she really wants to crit and she always crits almost, right? Especially on these cards because they also have the 25 increase. Uh, sh you will be critting with this, with this spell. So you really want to set it up so you can do a little nuke, okay? So... When it comes to AP, she's very hungry, so you want to pair her with like a, a support that doesn't do anything, like Pickles or and anyone that buffs, but don't use their card too much, just buff a little bit and then stop. And same with uh, with the healer, just keep a healer that like doesn't do anything. If you manage to get Tooth Fairy, you can use Tooth Fairy with Blani without any issue. They're also both uh, uh, stars, so it's going to be good for your elemental coverage or your Aflatus coverage, let's say. And Kisuit Fairy doesn't really uh, do anything. You just stay there, and the, the Baby Tooth is going to be depleted, and you get the, the Shred as well, which increases the chance of critting for you, and you also can heal whenever you need, right? So, that said, I don't think there's anything else I can say. I'm pretty sure, like, Blani, we have, like, a clear understanding on how Blani works. Let me know if you have anything else to say about it. Do you like Blani? You will will you be pulling for Blani? Will you be using Pl Blani? Let me know in the comments. Also follow my Twitch on twitch.tv forward slash Jackson. We do cool cool things there. Go check. Okay. And uh, sub for the channel for more and stuff like that. Yeah, usual stuff. So thank you for watching and see you next time.